This is your first time in Colombia. You've just landed. You had a long flight, body a little bit sore. You're a little bit jet lagged. A lot of guys, the first thing they like to do when they get somewhere is get a massage. And that's understandable, completely understandable. But I'm going to tell you the ways to kind of go about it and also a little bit of a story time from um, my time in Colombia. So the first thing is there are ma- going to be massage girls literally everywhere, depending on what part of Colombia you go to. Now, I went to Cartagena specifically. If you're in Cartagena, you're staying inside the wall city, which is if, if it's your first time, you definitely should stay inside of the um, wall city or El Centro, like that clock tower area you've probably seen on other videos, maybe my videos or somebody else's videos. It's usually a safer area to stay in, especially for first timers, especially if you're by yourself or just with like a small group of people. Stay in the wall city. And during the day, you're going to see these um, massage ladies walking around um, looking for clients, trying to direct people to their um, parlor. Sometimes they might just be walking to get something to eat or going to the store, but you'll be able to identify them by their uniform. They'll usually always have it on. You'll see ones in pink. You'll see them in blue. You'll see them in gray. Some of them, like, you might think like, damn, is that like a nurse? But usually... It's um, she's a massage girl. So if one comes up to you or you do approach one, the first thing they're probably going to try to do is to get you to come directly to the massage parlor. What me and my friends did, we got one of their WhatsApps. And so we could contact them later because it was literally a random situation. We weren't walking around looking for a massage, but they did kind of pull up on us. So we got their WhatsApp so we could negotiate rates later. A lot of them have like flat rates that I think is like the standard for a massage out there in um, Cartagena. I can't remember the, the exact amount my friends pay, but it was probably about, for the massage at least, it was probably about $30 worth of their money, maybe less, maybe like 25 which very inexpensive. If you had an hour-long massage in America, it's going to run you maybe 60 plus depending on where you're going, how experienced the person is, and or if they're like just starting out or whatever. But you definitely want to um, negotiate, no matter even if it's a flat rate. In all these countries, everything is negotiable. So don't pay anything that you're not comfortable paying. You feel me? Your other option, rather than going to the parlor, is you could get a house call. If your Airbnb is not far from where they're at, usually they won't mind. Um, just coming straight through the ones we had it was um it was four of us but me and one of my other friends we weren't in the massage mood at the time so we didn't end up getting one but the, our other two friends did but i was the one that had the uh, whatsapp number so i contact them and I, I tell her i got two friends and how much it would be and i negotiated them a, a nice um price and she was like yeah i got one um co-worker with me right now and boom they ended up coming through for the house call i think it may have been a little bit more than it would have been if they would have went to the parlor but house call you're going to be safer especially if you have an airbnb or a hotel that has a doorman that's very important because they can check ids and make sure this isn't a scam or something crazy not about to happen to you rather you go to a parlor you don't you've never been there before Especially if it wasn't recommended to you by a, a guy that's been there, I definitely wouldn't just walk in there because you got to think, massage, you're going to be face down, your stuff going to be somewhere across the room, and you're just kind of in a risky situation if you're not in a reputable spot. So I would definitely recommend the house call. But if you are one guy and you got more than one girl coming over, I wouldn't recommend that either. Just get you one massage lady to come over and that's that should be it that should be good enough so yeah um i kind of was explaining our personal story as well like i said we got the um whatsapps later on that night they um they ended up contacting them and they come through it's two girls both of them decent looking my homies was trying to decide like who gets who so they had a little awkward moment for a second 
But boom, they went in their separate rooms and they started getting their massage. Me and my friends, we, well, me and the other guy, we back outside just walking around, getting content and stuff like that. And we get back and then that's when we get to hear more of the story from them. This is the part that they're not going to tell you. Um, some people aren't going to tell you, but the happy ending and how that works specifically. So what I was told, because of course these girls, they don't speak much English. A lot of them also have boyfriends and stuff like that. So they are doing things in a specific way. My friend, um, my homie, he told me that the girl she showed him, like she took his eye thing off and um, well, he had a towel on his eye. She took it off and she had a message on her phone basically asking him if he wanted a manual stimulation and that this manual stimulation was a non-sexual thing. That's what she said. It's just like for the guy is something they offer, but it's also a secret and it would cost about an extra 25 or 30 dollars and one of my homies he took it and the other one didn't they both didn't really understand what the girls meant by manual stimulation so um one of them was very disappointed that it was just uh literally a manual stimulation like she used her hand basically and the other one when he asked her to like clarify that it wasn't actual like intercourse that he he just was like nah he was good but um yeah so one of them he ends up taking a little bit longer than the other guy after they both leave they kind of just like tell us what happened they both had the same story literally the girls showed them the message and one of them took it one of them didn't did they think it was worth it both of them said like yeah they got very good thorough like body massages the other one the guy that got the manual stimulation he also said that that was pretty worth it he, um as well usually guys we not especially you're grown like that's kind of like a, a younger like teen boy thing getting like hand jobs and stuff like that but he said it was it was worth the experience i mean total he probably played about 50 60 dollars which I mean, personally, it would have been a little bit too much for me, even if I was like a single guy or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? He said he had a good time, so he had a good time. I got to say, just be safe in all these situations. Don't put yourself at risk for anything, whether it's like STD, STD or to get robbed. I definitely wouldn't be having them come over like late at night. Um, I, w I don't even think a lot of them would be working after hours unless they were really like working girls from what i've seen the um same one that messed with my homie like i said i had the whatsapp she was posting up with her um boyfriend that like same night so is that seems like a lot of the culture like the guys don't really i don't know if they don't know what their woman doing or they just don't care or so as long as she's bringing him back some of the money that's what it kind of seems like how it goes out there but yeah man that's the manual stimulation story i hope you enjoyed the story like i said i got more story times coming for you guys um also more vlogs i definitely got more vlogs coming so stay tuned appreciate you watching like comment share subscribe and i'm out love